Tomorrow, episode 500. Be there. Our pilots are coming at you. Michael Pickering here talking our famous question. What's going on in the world today? And today we're continuing our development series called Country in the Spotlight, focusing on different development indicators in countries around the world to see just what's going down lately. And today we're focusing on the UK, a.k.a. the United Kingdom. And as per usual, we'll be using indicators like GDP, GDP per capita, and Gini, all coming from the World Bank. And we'll also be using HDI, the Human Development Index, coming from the United Nations. And of course, we got to get our corruption on with Transparency International. And no, that does not mean I'm going to be corrupt. It means we're going to cover corruption. And of course, we also have to cover media freedom scores from Reporters Without Borders. And our measure of civil liberties and civil rights in a country coming from Freedom House. All right, enough. Let's go. So the GDP for the UK in 2000 was 1.66 trillion US dollars. In 2021, 3.19 trillion, meaning it's almost doubled in 21 years. Not quite doubled, but pretty close. And that puts the UK at number five in the world, with the fifth largest economy in the world, right below Germany and right above India. Now, looking at GDP per capita in the UK in 2000, it was about $28,223 a person a year. In 2021, $47,334 a person a year, which is about a 59% increase over the past 21 years. That puts the UK at number 24, with New Zealand above it and San Marino below it. Now, looking at the Gini Index, measuring income inequality in a country. In 2000, the UK had a 39.6, kind of on the high side there. But in 2017, it had dropped to a 35.1, which is pretty good, though that was five years ago. We don't have anything more recent. But that puts the UK at roughly the 56th place in the world. (laughs) Roughly, though, roughly. And it has Thailand above it and Nigeria below it. Now, moving forward to the United Nations Human Development Index, that HDI, looking at average educational attainment, life expectancy, and GNI per capita with PPP. In 2000, the UK had a 0.874, which is really good. In 2019, it had risen all the way to a 0.932, which is really, really good. Average life expectancy is about 81.3 years. And average educational attainment, in other words, average years of schooling, is about 17.5 years. I mean, damn, that's a lot of schooling, UK, for sure. Now, the UK's HDI score puts them at number 13 in the world, right below Singapore and right above Belgium. Very nice, UK, very, very nice. But now let's switch gears to that Corruption Perception Index. Oh yeah, bringing in Transparency International that looks at perceived levels of corruption in 180 countries and territories around the world. The UK comes in at number 11, right below Germany and right above Austria. And that's the 2021 report on the calendar year of 2020. Now, what about media freedoms in the UK? You may be wondering, I mean, haven't you been waiting, you know, laying awake at night? You're like, what's media freedom like in the UK? I just have to know. Well, if you haven't, I understand. But some of us do. But Reporters Without Borders, looking at 180 countries and territories across the globe. That 2022 report on the calendar year 2021, the UK ranked number 24, right below Belgium and right above Trinidad and Tobago. And to our last development indicator, Freedom House, measuring the amount of civil liberties and civil rights in a country, and measuring them in about 200 countries and territories around the world. The UK is tied for number 30, with Kiribati, Andorra, Tuvalu, Austria, San Marino, Marshall Islands, and Dominica, and Cyprus. The countries right above it are Germany, Chile, Taiwan, Estonia, and Iceland. The countries right below it are St. Lucia, Cabo Verde, 
Palau and the Federated States of Micronesia. And all that's from the 2022 report on 2021. But now let's pull all this together and see what does it mean? What does it all mean about development in the UK these past 21 years? Well, on July 24th, 2019, almost exactly three years ago, something happened. A silent 10 count to see if you can figure it out. And I know you can. Boris Johnson became Prime Minister. Like, really, he's about to make his three-year birthday. How? Why? I don't know. Somebody fill me in on how this guy ever got to be Prime Minister. He never even brushes his hair. And still, somehow, somehow, he's still Prime Minister. You know, I just, though, I just always love to mess with the UK about Boris. And not that we ain't got our own Boris Johnson here. Oh, hell yeah, we sure do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But really, looking at all 10 of our development indicators, all 10, mind you, the UK is one of the most developed countries in the world. Period. And the quality of life and the quality of level of development is still increasing. Now, there are ups and downs. Sure as hell there are. When you look at the data points from the past six years or so, there's quite a bit of fluctuation up and down. But that's globally, really. Every country has been going through that these past six years or so. But overall, UK, you are on my list of places to go for sure. I really, really want to see Russell Howard live. Speak to me, people. I want to hear your voice. And it's not a cliche or a catchphrase. It's a lifestyle. Always remember that lo-fi poli is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Talk to you tomorrow for episode 500. Pickering, signing off. A little behind the scenes for all you listeners that stuck around. Something happened in the making of today's episode. Something new to the data. A silent 10 count to see if you can guess. Go. The World Bank finally got 2021 data. And no, they didn't finally respond to my email asking where we've been. But if you caught that in the episode, write in and let me know, because I surely would love to celebrate how nerdy I got when I realized it all on today's episode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get your nerd on, people. Talk to you tomorrow.